Hello guys, my name is Jay and you're welcome to Jay Decode. In this video, we're we'll building a random password generator using Python. Can you sit back, chillax and enjoy the code? So for us to create our random password generator, we have to create a list of letters. The list is going to have both uppercase and lowercase. Then we'll create a list of numbers from 0 to 9. And finally, we'll create a list of symbols. The symbol can be gotten from our keyboard. You can see the signs and symbols on our keyboard. So let's do that but i will have to skip this part of the video so it doesn't bore you out so i'll see you on the other side so as you can see i've created my list of letters numbers and symbols my list of letters are both uppercase and lowercase let me break it down so we can enter into the screen my list of numbers are from zero to nine and my list of symbols are the ones i was able to get from my keyboard now we're going to create a new list called password list and it's going to store the password so we're going to use to be an empty string first and then we are going to now ask the user the amount of letters numbers and symbols you want so let's say num letters equals to or the int because it's an integer then call the input function then ask the user how many amounts of letters do you want then we'll do that for numbers. Let me copy this. Change from letters to numbers. Then we'll do that for symbols. Change the letters to symbols. So now we'll create a for loop that is going to loop through the range of the num letters and then select randomly the values in the letters, numbers, and symbols list. So let's do that. So we'll say for alphabet in range of zero to the num letters, which is the number the user is going to give us, then we'll actually create a new variable named random letters now this variable is actually going to select in random the values in the letter list but first of all we have to import a module called random let's do that so we'll say import random then we'll say random dot choice of letters so now it's going to select randomly the values in this letter list then let's print random letter so i'm printing random letter so if i run this code how many amount of letters do you want let's say i want four letters four numbers and four symbols so we're getting o r o w b if i run it again say i want three letters three numbers and three symbols uh, we are getting e d and e as you can see it's actually selecting the random alphabets in this letter list so that is what the random dot choice does it selects randomly the values in the list so now let's try and append this random letter into the password list let's update it there into the password list. so we are going to say password list dot append random letter so now we have actually saved this random letter into the password list so we are going to actually do that into the numbers list and the symbols list so let me just copy this and i'll just change some words there so for for the numbers i'll say for norm in range of norm numbers let me change this to norm numbers norm numbers i'll now change this to random number And the random dot choice is the numbers list. The random choice is going to be from the number list. So let me print this number list and show you. Let me comment on this and I'll say print random number. So how many letters do you want? I want three letters, three numbers, and three symbols. 
as you can see we are getting nine three and one this is the random number in the number list so i'll just update it back into the password list update those random numbers into the password list so i'll change this from random letter to random number and i'll also do that for the symbols list so let's do that again so i'll change i'll say for sign in the range of zero to the number of symbol which is norm symbol and random sign change this to from random number to random sign and the random choice is going to be from the symbols list so we say symbol and we are appending the random sign into the password list so we have appended the numbers and the symbols and the letters into the password list now let's print the password list so we say print password list so if i want the code how many letters do you want i want four letters four numbers and four symbols you can see this is our password look at it and you can notice something if you notice something that the, the password is actually structured it's giving us four numbers then giving us four four letters four numbers and four symbols so we don't want this to be so because it's a password so we want it to be unstructured not structured so we are going to actually use another mode in the random module which is called random dot shuffle so we are going to say random dot shuffle and we are under, we are shuffling the password list so we we'll say password list then we will now print password list once more and if i run this code how many letters do you want i want three letters three numbers and three symbols as you can see the first one this is the print password is actually in orderly manner three letters three numbers and three symbols. why the second one is actually unstructured you can get we are getting a number first and a symbol then a letter you can see how unstructured it is so that is how we want our password to look like now we have reached the end of our python project password generator but there is just one more thing we have to do we have to actually convert our password list to a string so by doing that we have to use the join method so we say password is equals to string yeah quotes is a string anything with quotes is a string so we say string dot join password list then we'll print our password so let's say print put an f string this is your randomly generated password put a double quote around it so if i run this if i run this we want four letters three numbers and five symbols look at it this is your randomly generated password yeah let me do this cover this and cover this and run it again so we want five letters three numbers and two symbols you see this is your randomly generated password yeah so that is password generator with python so there's just one more thing in our python script on password generator that we can actually do we can actually make the script look a little more uh shorter and uh, professional so let's try and fine tune it first of all we are actually going to import another module and this in this module is going to call string we want to import string and then we want to clear our letter list clear the values on our letter list clear every single thing then on the letter list we want to call the string module dot ascii letters string dot ascii letter the same thing on our 
numbers list you will say string dot digits then for our symbols we we'll see call the string module and with this one we are going to say string dot punctuations then for our for loop we're actually going to use a list comprehension here so the code looks more uh, faster or takes less line so let's let's cut out this our for loop and i'll paste it at the back end of our random dot first letter i will remove the colon and create my square brackets then i will correct my indentation I will correct my indentation. I'll do the same thing for my random number. Cut it out. Paste it here. Create my square bracket. Correct my indentation. Do the same thing for my random sign. Paste it here. Create my square bracket. Then I'll finally correct my indentation. Then let's run the code and see. I want four letters, four numbers, and four symbols. Okay, as you can see, we are getting an error. It shows a uh, expected string instance list found type error. So what is showing us is that we cannot append a, a list into a list. You can see in our line 15, line 19, and line 23. It's trying to we are trying to append the random letter list to the password list. So we cannot do that. So instead of appending a list inside a list, we are going to actually go to the random letter list, extract the value from the random letter list and append it or update it inside the password list. So instead of using the uh, pass, uh, the append, instead of using append, we are going to use extend. So I want to say password list, password list dot extend. Then we'll do that the same thing for our random number. Do the same thing for our random sign. So if I run this code, let's say I want four numbers, five and six symbols. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, even you can see our symbol, we are getting a uh, symbols that I was not even able to see on my keyboard. You can see. So that is how you can make the script a little bit better. So if you have a uh, website you're building or a landing page or an app, you can use this to generate password for signing details. Thank you very much. Kindly like, subscribe, and most importantly, drop a comment for more uh, videos. Thank you very much.